What's up guys, quick video on something that I alluded to in the previous one as I was on vacation, I forgot my handles and I need a good kind of solid chest exercise. So I went back to kind of try and shoot push-ups, and this forced me to kind of really focus in and dial in that stress and tension on the push-ups. So I wanna talk about this technique and tip that you could actually maximize and do with a basic push-up, but I think actually works out and really shines on a total gym or sliding bench trainer. This will probably be something I'll be carrying on uh, well into the future. So I wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Uh, now, as I always say before, I always remember doing any exercise. I want to focus in that tension on the individual muscle I'm working. Push-ups are one of those exercises that we can just kind of blast through the actual movement and not focus in on the tension. So it's kind of up to you and why you're doing it in the first place. And this workout, I really needed to kind of find uh, an exercise, in this case, the basic push-up to work my chest uh, in a way that really felt like it was equivalent to a traditional chest press. So I'll get into specifics here in a second, but as you guys can see, I'm, I'm going to my knees for a lot of these things. And I'm not trying to be like a push-up Nazi, but like, my, yes, my torso is gonna drop down a little bit, but I'm focusing in all my effort and stress on my upper chest specifically. But as I'm pressing, I'm trying to think about driving through really also flailing out the lats, but also trying to squeeze my chest at the bottom position. I'm not worrying about how low I'm getting, I'm just really trying to focus in that tension. So here's me kind of standing up, just showing you guys what it looks like. And you can see here, it almost looks like I have some sort of tension in my hands, like I got some imaginary resistance band. But see what I'm doing here is I'm trying to replicate this motion. As I'm coming in together, I'm trying to squeeze my chest together, almost in when the total gym, you'll kind of feel this more in the upper part of your chest. Uh, but also notice my lats are kind of flailing out as well as I do that exercise. I'm gonna have to kind of re rewind that and repeat that here, but I notice as I'm on a glide board, you can mess with certain inclines. Here I'm kind of pressing that little bit of a slight rock makes a big difference in kind of initiating and also helping that squeeze really occur in that mid to upper part of the chest. And I think that's where you'll primarily feel this. You'll see me go flat here in a second, but I'm gonna show you a few different angles. Uh, yes, you can go on your toes and increase the tension, but in my opinion, it kind of puts takes the stress off the chest, puts a little more on the shoulders. So messing around with the range of motion, these grips actually came in really handy, these uh, bear grips, and I, will, I mentioned that in a previous video. Uh, I'll link those down below. So here's a, here's the motion a little bit higher. Now here I'm not going as low, but I'm just kind of swaying into that bottom position and digging out and pushing out. So you, it's so it's super subtle, but it's uh, something that you can really think about and feel. Now I just threw this in there just to show you that yes, this like pike to push up was good, but this is one that I didn't really do too much because while it's a great push up exercise, I don't feel the tension there as much. This is an angle I liked a lot. Just a subtle like I'm not trying to work my abdominals here, but that little rock in and out. Seems like I'm going at a faster tempo, which I am, but it's keeping that pressure and that tension really dialed in. And while it looks like I'm busting through this kind of fast, I'm still focusing in on really that squeeze and also that flail, flare out of the, uh, the lats as well. So if you have to kind of rewind this, kind of get the subtle, the subtle motions of this down, you may have to do that. But this is something that for me, you're seeing me mess around different angles. Uh, I just felt like with all the compound reps and sets that I did, this made a big difference. I, I tried it a little bit. You can get a little bit out of this, um, doing it in the kind of a closer grip position with your hands fixed on the bottom of the, uh, the uh, squat stand there. But for me, I felt like the combination of being at a certain angle or even doing it this way at a higher rep range made a really big difference. So hopefully you guys get some out of this video. Uh, that's really it guys, quick tips on this. Uh, any questions, comments, feedback, let me know and I'll see you guys in the next one.